traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden back again from Real Life Trading Australia with another Real Life Stock Review. Hope you guys are doing absolutely incredible, especially after this humongo jungo gainage on the SPY. A lot of stocks moving bullish today. Actually, want to give a few shout outs for a lot of the Real Life Traders making some huge gains. Brad giving us a shout out for 2.5R, throwing us an amazing trade. Mick making some money there, 1.87 on DAL as well. Uh, what else have we got here? Alex, 4.25 on Lulu Puts and 2R on DAL. And Angie, my girl, getting 4R on Apple and 1R on AMAT. Absolutely incredible. Donna getting 1R on Barber. It was an absolutely incredible day to make some money. But let's take a look at the SPY. We did get a very nice bullish day today after the tweet from uh, from Trump saying there was going to be the start of the phase one of the trade deal with China. So obviously we did pull that did push the markets a lot higher. Take a look at the five minute. We did get this beautiful little five minute high wave candle, and then any entry above that could have just you if you had an entry above and and an entry below with a cancellation on both sides, you would have dominated that particular trade would have been a beautiful straddle to play on the SPY. There were a few few little entries that you could have taken. There was this cute little uh, pennant pattern which did break out and then retest and go higher. All in all, SPY is going higher, guys. I do get a lot of people asking me when is the best time to get into a stock and I just say, how long is a piece of string? Because there has been a lot of all-time highs. People are very, very reluctant to get in because the market's at an all-time highs. But I explained to them, but back here, we we're at all-time highs. 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 And here, we we're at also all-time highs. Obviously, buying at the all-time highs isn't the greatest thing to do. However, not no one knows if it's going to be the top or if it's going to continue. And the SPY, although it's at an all-time high right now, I'm still bullish on the markets, and there are still a lot of great opportunities in the markets. A lot of buy low, sell high locations right now on the SPY, and just a lot of opportunity in general. So be bullish on the markets, guys. There's not a lot of bearishness happening out there, so just stick with the trend. The trend is your friend until the end. Take a look at the E-minis. In the afternoon session, we did get a nice little cute... Uh, retest gap. I do expect this gap to fill. We have chopped around. Uh, we have been a fairly choppy for the last couple of weeks. However, if you take a look at the shorter term moving averages, we really just came straight back down. We did not close below the 20, came straight back down to the 10 and then went higher. So I do expect this probably to come back down, have another dip and then continue sideways or most likely go higher. Here's Apple, Angie making super big gainage on Apple. We did gap down, it was a gap and go. However, we gapped straight to the 10 EMA and as you can see, it has been a buying location in the past for quite some time. Uh, so it has been a very, very good buying location and we just did slowly grind high. But Apple moving higher, creating another all-time high, another all-time high once again and Beautiful volume. Just look to buy the dip, guys. Let's take a look at DAL. Now, Brad did have a trade set up here in the day trading floor. So those of you, all those real-life traders who did get to capitalize on that, well done. This was a beautiful gap and go. Red candle gapping up. And as you can see here on the five-minute, fairly simple play. We did, get a, uh, we did get a very nice bullish high-wave candle right here. Do you get a very nice bullish high wave candle right here? Here was the here was your pre-market high, and there was the nice little retest and pop higher. So if you did get to capitalize on DAL, very, very great trade. Well done, Brad, for, stop, for spotting that one. Here's Facebook, guys. A lot of people, I want to shout out to my boy Ryan. You have got a I know you are in a long-term calls here at 205. You could probably buy to close them soon uh, and probably sell another 205 call for another month or so. This, uh, this did have a little bit of a dump in the afternoon right here, but however, most likely we'll just trade sideways. We did come straight back down to the 50 EMA on the daily chart, so uh, not a whole lot to see. Look, Just look to buy the dip. 
And another one you're in, mate. Ryan, you're in JD. I know you wanted me to look at this one for you. And we did have a beautiful double bottom with a cute little retest of the neckline. And we are slowly but surely grinding higher. So JD, another, a few real life traders out there. Very excited about this move. We did get a beautiful a beautiful retest of the 50 EMA. And right now we are slowly grinding higher. Let's take a look at the Aussie stocks. So that all odds just trading in a range going completely sideways. I did say that most likely we will, we will stay within this range for a little while and just look to buy the dip. You can see here, we, we have got the 100 supporting this trade and we've also got this beautiful, uh, in, uh, this beautiful ascending wedge. So right now I do expect us probably to just continue sideways until we break out of this trend, either bullish or bearish. If we do come back down to the 200, it would be a very nice dip buying opportunity. Here's CBA. Now CBA, if you are in any long-term positions, you can also look to sell a covered call probably for about a month at 82 or 83. Looks really, really nice. I know we are going to most likely going to consolidate here for some time, so that would be a very nice little income strategy for you on CBA, but not a whole lot to see there, guys. Same thing on BHP. We are at a resistance level right here, guys, at 39.44. If you are looking to create some income, then you could look to sell a 41 or a 4050 covered call for a month or so would be a very nice selling location buy low sell high guys and that's all i have to say about bhp we are at a selling point so look to take some profits off the table Let's take a look at altium ticker symbol alu now right now we are creating somewhat of a beautiful uh, morning star reversal pattern off the 100 simple, the 200, the 100 and the 200 slowly coming together here. This was a very nice double bottom. Of course, a cute little retest here, but here's another longer term retest of this particular neckline. So I do expect Altium to to eventually bounce. I did say I have been saying for a while, probably since back here or back here, I have been saying that we will trade sideways for some time and we most likely would get a chance to buy off the 200. So those of you who did get in off this particular level, well done to you guys. You're absolutely crushing life. Altium does look to go uh, sideways for a little bit longer, but then we slowly will look to uh, slowly look to bounce. Let's take a look at Qantas. Now Qantas is not is, is actually slow, slowing down here. We do have some very nice high wicks and we have some selling pressure up here at thir uh, at $7.40. So if you are in shares, either look to sell some premium up here above $7.50, uh, sorry, above $7.40, or just look to take your profits and buy the dip. If you take a look at the shorter term moving averages here, guys, if you're looking for a long-term dip buying opportunity, this is your boy, right here there's your there's where you want to be buying off the 50 ema we've never bounced off this level before uh, as you can see but what's more important to note about this particular level is it's also the previous resistance so it would be a very nice dip buying location buy low sell high and that is Qantas. Let's take a look at Wise Tech Global, ticker symbol WTC. Now, WTC, if you take a look at the long-term moving averages, we have closed below the 200, and we do look somewhat a little bit weak. On the weekly chart, next target to buy for a long-term dip buying location is 2090, which is the 100 simple moving average off a weekly chart, and there's a lot of price action right here to support that particular trade. So anywhere between 20 and $22 will be a very nice dip buying location for WTC. So if you are looking for a dip buying opportunity, keep your eyes on WTC in the short term future. Let's take a look at some crude, some crude oil, slowly but surely grinding higher. We are getting, uh, we are getting a little bit higher than $59. If we can break this guys, pretty much I wouldn't say sky's the limit, but I would say we could easily make it up to back up to $61 if we can break these if we if we can break these particular highs. I am fairly neutral. I'm probably more bearish than neutral um, at this current moment, just because we have had a pretty decent run the last few weeks on oil. 
and I do want to look to buy low, sell high. So keep your eyes on a short-term dip buying opportunity when it does come. Um, but just if you are in futures or if you are in some oil positions, just look to sell high and buy low. Let's take a look at gold. Now gold did have a little bit of a sell-off last night at, at open. As you can see here, it was very, very quick. As soon as the market went bullish, uh, gold did kind of fall off a cliff a little bit and we are still resisting the 100 simple on the daily chart so here we still haven't broken below this particular level at 1452 I do expect us to go lower or just most likely consolidate until we get the the, the 200 simple moving average come into play but all in all guys gold is still looking very very weak and last but not least let's take a look at the Aussie dollar and I must say, I am no longer super bearish on the Aussie dollar. We are currently creating some very amazing patterns right now. As you can see here, we have broken out on the upside of this particular trend line here, and we are also we have been oops sorry wrong one. Uh, we have been creating some very nice higher lows right here. And also, what is what is important to know is this particular this particular level right here at uh, what, what level is this? 68, 69. So this particular level has been breached, which was also the upper band of that particular trend as well. So this has been breached. We are above the 200 for the first time in like almost two years, close to two years. So this is quite quite a interesting move. Uh, if you are looking to go long, I just think you should probably look to buy the dip, buy the buy as low as possible. Uh, on the short-term moving averages, uh, we have got all the moving averages, so the EMAs all have crossed over bullish. So if you are looking for a dip buying opportunity, probably just look to buy off the 10 or the 20 and then slowly grind higher. That's all I've got for today, folks. Hope you guys have an amazing weekend. If you want me to review any tickers, leave it in the comment section below. Or alternatively, email me at ricky, uh, ricky at reallifetrading.com or just hit me up on my Facebook group. It's in the description below. Join the crew. You're amazing. And uh, have a great weekend. And until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. We'll see you all soon. Bye.